on Jeff McNeil. How long did it take you to understand? <laughs> <laughs> that one is driven out to left field. Right at the end of the camp, I felt like I'm seeing the baseball well. I'm having quality of 250 this spring. Has a couple of home runs, including one on Thursday, facing a 100 mile per hour fastball, which he has not done since last October. And timing and getting enough swings. Well, Javier pitches in that first inning and gave up that three-run home run to Alex Bregman. This one's congratulations to him. That's awesome. It's a great photo, too. It is. He's ahead on Jake Myers, 0-2, and misses outside. Of games for the Astros season ago, and that one clipped the shoulder. Altuve, because of his uh, as well as anybody. Again, he did battle injuries last year. He only played 90. Production was strong. And to see if, if you a little bit longer throws the barrel head. From his perspective. That one's in there for a called third. And who go north. That's what you love as a, a young guy coming in here. Notice you. Notice that I can play at this level. Hit hard right back up the middle, but in this last year, uh, but not right there. Not on that shift. Mania. That's yeah, going to be a lot. I already messed it up. So. <laughs> hey. G Man Choi was playing first base today. Got off to a really hot start. Man Choi, you got to think if all things are equal, then for there. For the whole one game, he won't play. For the one game. Dixon <laughs> had some words of advice for him, knew that it was not going to be. Couple Javier of here once again taking some. That one misses outside. Make an opening day, which is an amazing thing to do. A good feed. The Antos fouls it right behind us. He has shown the sort of power that uh, the Mets are looking for from. So he stands him up a little bit. He's making sure he's covering that outside ball back in now. Hammered, foul beyond third. Tried to change it. Count is full here on Vientos. Swing and a miss. Foul tip. Was turning around asking if that pitch is a strike or if he went above the zone. That was two jumps. Got that late arm whip. Narvaez just fouled line. And on Narvaez. That went up and out of the zone. Narvaez played in just 49 day. A little high breaking ball. G-Man jumped out now from Christian Javier to the right side. Jose out on the first. He's going to be a big time player. He is. I mean, he was first pick in 2022. That's rocket uh, ship. They also have a very good shortstop right now in uh, in Baltimore. So, yeah. Jordan Alvarez chasing first inning, courtesy of the Alex Bregman three run homer. This conversation earlier. And the Players Association, a little bit more manipulation out of having him start in the minor leagues, get more seat. Excuse about him getting defensive work. But if you end up with right, great hitter to be frozen here, Quintana dialed in right now after that rough first. It's good. Service time, year of service time anyway. So if Jackson, uh, a compensation pick or something along those lines. But despite that, on Quintana. So. It's two and one, and now the count even option to keep hitters on their toes. Rib cage. That one by printed movement in his bat path. None. Jose Abreu takes ball one. All the teams you played for, all the years you played in what, the league. What, what are you trying to say here? I'm just, here's the 2-2 pitch. And that one misses. Loved facing oh. along with me. And if I make a mistake, <laughs> and at the end of the day, got to walk. Yeah, before it counts, beginning on Thursday, second walk of the afternoon by first inning. And then Quintana came back for the second. And that one misses up high. 2-0 pitch misses. And it's 3-0 now on McCormick, who is... Mm. 
Beautiful pitch there, 3-1. Breckman off second, Abreu off first, the runners go, and there's strike three. Rating J.D. Martinez day. Bounce to the right side. Out to high hop, one down. Lineup is, you know, he's, he's, they've been, so that's good, good all around. Definitely makes this team sickness season. That's Jose Iglesias field. Jake Myers. Now he had to look to a place that he could have some success. Brandon Nimmo finds the hole. Jeff McNeil still searching for his first hit this spring. Chance to play for the Mets when the opportunity finally came to fruition. And listen, we've spec spot is. He's a right-handed hitter that gets ball to the right center field gap. Another interesting piece from one of the premier power hitters in the game today. Jeff McNeil pops it up on Diaz, leads it off for the Astros. Quintana, six strikeouts so far on the afternoon. That one misses up high. It's one and two. I love how, from my understanding, is to keep hitters from just diving over and owning that balance and owning that entire entire portion of the plate. Had a chance to. Well, he misses with right there, but um, ability to paint the outside part of the plate then you can't eliminate a zone. He would just stay on his glove side away to a righty and he would throw, eliminated that inside part of the plate. Jeremy Pena swinging on 2-0, slices it fast. Getting his work in for sure. Then he had. Especially coming off of replay. And nobody out here in the top of the fourth inning. I want to get down. They want to make sure that their motion. 1-1. One, one. Bounce to the left side of Glacius to McNeil on to first, not in time. As Mama get a fastball in, a little bit of a cut, give your team a chance to turn. You can get out of this unscathed even after walking the first of the Mets. As Jose Quintana has left twice now and on both occasions, occasions. Jake Myers leads off first and Diaz off third as out. Get out of this with one more pitch. That one inside. Two. Runner takes off and it's fouled away. Big leg kick, allowing a big jump. But now, that's a good one right there. It's kind of a front door slider. Big cut there by Alvarez, who, by the way, in the postseason, see what he does here against Wilkin Ramos, who misses outside, and it's one and one. As well. Ooh. Oh, and it's inside. Let's see if it hit him. It's runner now at first. That one on the outside corner. That one misses outside. Punch out. Cool. One two pitch. Misses outside. Count is even. You do your fastball to finish. To the right side. Big hop. G man. Up. Gets it to Ramos, they get the out. That's why he went and played it deep, and then it'll... Two outs, Alex Bregman, who's had himself a well of a day so far, home run in the front. Oh, took something off that one. Perfect it's for a called strike. The adjustments you can make. That one hit, deep to left field. Back goes Brandon. I wanted to say, that's one of the adjustments that you don't want to make, because today, he takes a ball at 0-2, that backs up. the slider but stayed in the middle of the plate and left it he doesn't even have to barrel it as long as he can get it in the air in that direction spot here in the fourth inning Jose Abreu the beauty of spring Quintana 74 pitches up 3-2 is inside and with one on and two outs and McCormick's got a back out in this spring, but had not hit one out, but he's got two. Play. To Plantier. And another walk.
Yiner Diaz, first pitch swinging, singles into right. Fastball out over the plate. And Pena can't hold up. Oh boy. Grounded to the left side. Wendell. I think Vientos is the guy that is definitely going to go north with this because of his age and because they need to make a spot for a guy. And in Nimmo. I want to be a part of a brain trust. But, just gets a piece of it to stay alive. But as we saw, Christian Javier still out there for the Astros. Took something off that one, and is uh, that Reed Foley and Tonkin can go multiple innings up to three plus. That could be something Andy is projecting based upon the fact that pinch runner is Bader comes out of the game. <laughs> fans in front office last year with some of the things he was capable of doing in a basically a lost season. So he'll happily stay in the organization. Well, also, you know, if he doesn't, G-Man, Choi takes a call, strike one. The one that might a little bit of a conflict. Yeah, it's tough to tell. Popped up into shoving in and settles under it for out number one. Two outs, the Mets have a run in, and Joey Wendell, who grounds a good slider. They're done at 65 pitches. You know, we don't know. We're going to have to sun for the day. 2-1 pitch. Grounded to the right in Port St. Lucie. Mets trailing the Astros. It's a separate degree of intimidating. And it just kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked that thing. I saw, I saw the video. Meyer stays in the game as Altuve takes... Altuve takes a strike. It's one and one. Alvarez backs out bail on purpose and be okay with the, the strikeout looking. Then for the big league club. Colin Price stays in the game. He pinch ran for out. Shortstop. Astros in the bottom of the fifth inning to face off against Jose Iglesias. He got three walks on the afternoon. Iglesias has moved to center field for Houston. Iglesias pops one up. Really, really good and worth a watch. What do I guess? I'm, I'm looking forward to that as well. And you're right, Joe Krause does incredible work. The year, Cy Young Award, World Series, and then the struggles that he faced throughout. It just shows you at times that you never know. Brandon Nimmo stays alive. One of the things you really take. 2-2 pitch to Nimmo, slices one foul. Good at bat by Brandon. By Young Doc. Brandon drives one. Into center fireman ceremony. April 14th out at City Field, and can't wait for that. So, Todd, in your career off Doc Gooden, 12 for 33. All right. Big time numbers. So I made it in the Dr. K. Just so happy that he's... Getting what I think is a little bit St. Lucie, 84 degrees, bright sunshine. Purdue, I think, is the right word, too. I mean, these two guys, he was still a major part in being a left handed hitter watching. <laughs> I'm 40. You can't, I can't be that young. <laughs> the game. Kyle Tucker, skies one, game. The. Goes about his business and didn't need any win. Nice smooth swing. Ruins Johan Ramirez's perfect spring. Thought I must not have seen that correctly, but there it was. Hope he's okay. There was. Yeah. Well, when the doctor in the third, another three run home run in the fourth inning. The head better. I think so because you're looking down. It's a little more of a, you know, leadoff homer. Well, she's got an ice bag up on there now. She's getting some airtime right now. I'm sure she's been texted already that we're shocks. Chip series. They led that series three games to two. Is Abreu pinch running as Abreu comes out of the game.
good spring. Began the day hitting 368 down here in Florida. But if he can get that double play again. Well, well, that went on the inside. The one that starts on the inside and comes over, front door slider, and it's a home run pitch. There it is again. Yiner Diaz takes one in the back. Jeremy Pena, who played his college baseball at the University. That one catches the outside corner. Last year, put on a ton of muscle. And I think he slimmed down a little bit with two outs and two on. Laced into center field. That's a throw comes all the way through and then down at third. 10-1 spring training game continues to run, but right in the chest. He's got a Piazza jersey on. Might not have been handleable. Brian Abreu, the new pitch, is up the single to Simon Juan to lead it off for the Mets here. DJ Stewart, his third at bat. He takes a mighty cut. Oh, it has an absolutely nasty slider that he throws about 88 miles an hour. Three two to Stewart drives one out to right field. Loper, G-man Choi walked and flied out to right field in his chat. And he's out of options. Wherever you're at, do the best you can every day on the baseball field. Troy's Hill in Milwaukee, which is a renowned haunted hoof side, drives in the Mets' second run of the game. Back hits for the Mets here in the sixth inning. In the air to center field. Taking care of business. Next guy up. Seems like. Guys have different bats that feel differently. And, you know, Jeff McNeil with the big. Hit in the air to center field. New pitcher for the Astros, Taylor Scucks and the A's last season. Two and one on William Lugo. Lines one. That's a fair ball down into the second and third. Two outs. Jupiter against the Marlins, and then they finish up against the Yankees. Trip for Nick LaRusso. Most likely. Hit 288. Fouled right back over us, Todd. Here oh, it comes. There it is. Ooh, that one went ahead of some V behind it. And Gator arm. Another it. one right. Clear this one just off to the left. Left of us. Good at bat. Tournaments. I didn't get to go to many big league baseball games as it. These are actually closer. And then I went to a couple of Reds games when I was at the University of Dayton in college. Keith Rad and I are proud Flyer alum. A nice try, but uh, off the end of the bat, it's Tony. Tommy Sacco makes the play so of the afternoon. But like that's pitchers have been having trouble Get out of the way in spring training and not take north with you. Even the Gosick ish bounce to the right side. First pitch swinging right to the second. And the changeup as well. Big cut from Colin Price. Here's the one-two pitch, and that one misses. Count evens it as the Mets work their way down to 26, and that's in the afternoon for the Astros. Got the start in center field. Uh, swings hot. We saw her over the weekend. It's really committed to trying to break a barrier, and we wish her all. We got a quite a ways to go, but people like Jen Powell 
are making things happen. Executives coming through and many more to come. Clark shoots one out to left field. First pitch swing is Quibble. Noon. Grounds to the left side. They get also reminisced about some of the early struggles he had in his career. Astros let him go, and he said it was the best thing that ever happened to him. It's certainly in this office. So um, I think they both laughed about it as that ball was driven out there. But look, I think the reality is we said it earlier comparatively to San Francisco, but RBI guy himself. So, yeah, before, uh, for you guys, don't pitch your to Pete Alonso, and I did it my whole career. If I had a guy that I said to Pete Alonso, a lot of his career here, having a guy like J.D. Measley. Jordan Brewer. Good One. seventh inning for Trey McLaughlin, but hitter. Whoops. Now Pedro Leon. Deep now. These guys are teeing off. There's a little better spot in it, but... In when you're an opposing pitcher, C.J. Stubbs to center in a lot of runs. And much more on the... Popped up right behind us and out of two strikes here on Bastidas. And that one is up and... Not the ideal outing the spring before he starts opening day is McLaughlin. Finded to know as Tomas Nito steps in here in the bottom of the eighth inning and drives one. Joe Kunal is the pitcher for the Astros. He's a free agent after he was taken off the 40 man. So they like him. Brought. Is really kicked up here. It does feel like, I mean, all out dive. Something to talk about. Nick LaRusso, first pitch swinging, drops. Runner takes off, and so. It is a good graphic. Bouncer out in front. I agree with you that that is one of the more entertaining things on our broadcast. So yeah. light breaks. <laughs> exactly. No, I think I think they might have. Like, I like that one because it means something to Keith, uh, to Keith every time. He Keith loves out. the loot, his own graphic. Nice. Chance to make an impression here. Is that good for tough? Joey Luperfito, who went crashing into the wall out in right field. He's had a really high on him. You know, like a like a one of the Mets coaches as a hitter. That's a. Good. I'm talking hitting. True, smart. Count evens at two and two. No, Tyler McGill. Will pitch the third spot in the rotation. Luperfito drives one down the right field line, but it has looked really good in, in his two latest outings. Hauser has looked missing. Singa, and they will be the entire time he's out. He's he's the guy. You just don't know what you're going to get quite yet, but it's certainly been sent out. But also a guy that you know you can rely on. Uh, he pitched very well. And he showed some poise. He, he looked a little better than what people might have initially thought of him. Uh, he definitely made a name. Price broke in back to the left side, three up and three down. And so, bounced right back up the middle here that, hey, he's not the same player anymore. And it could signal the end of Like that, that helps their particular game. You don't really think of that, that I thought. But aside from that, it is a tougher ballpark. Washington 2-2 two two on Simon Juan, who gets sawed off. And by the way... You were wondering why you were not a meteorologist, and now, now I guess we know. we know. Also increases uh, some things like bat speed and, um, you know, things yeah. Kellum Clark, last chance here for the Mets in the bottom of the night. Nine hits and no errors. By the way, I, I three times that the pitchers left and then came back in and it's pretty... Clark down to third. Whitcomb fires.